So in Logic, we're going to take a look at multi-output for our drum. So I'm going to assign an instrument under the eye down here. I've already added an instrument drum. I'm going to go to Audio Units Instruments, Native Instruments. So I'm going to choose Battery. So with Battery, I'm going to zoom in so you can see we have a couple of different outputs that you can choose. In this case, I don't want 16 mono. I'm going to choose you know something like stereo. Yeah, there we go. My 12 stereo. That's probably the most I can get from stereo. So I'm going to choose the 12 stereo. And now that I have the 12 stereo, I'm going to choose a kit that has multi-mics. So under the new, I'm going to select acoustic kits, why not multi-mic kit? That's probably the best option here. So what we can do is take all the different mics that we see. For example, this is the snare, or excuse me, snare up top. These are the direct mics. These are the what they call PZM, overhead, rooms, and so on for all the instruments. So if you select each of them, you can put them out to different uh, tracks. So then kick, I'll go out one and two. Snare, if I select that cell, let's go out three, four. There you go, three, four hi-hats. Uh, we'll select all of them. And then they're going to go out five, six. All our toms together. Seven, eight. Hopefully we have enough. Yeah, maybe we have to put the symbols out the same ones in the toms just to save some. One, two, three, seven, eight, seven, eight. Yeah. And this one as well. Make sure we're getting the outputs. You can see the, you can see the outputs right as a number right there. And then choose all the cells, all these PZM mics. Choose the output. This one should be the next available one. It shows up. There it is for. Do the same thing. Grab all my overheads. Zoom out so you can see. All my overheads. They are going to be. What do we have? 11, 12. Yep. All the room mics. 13, 14. And then if I wanted to, I could do my trash mics. Now, if I press the kick now, it's playing all the cells in this area, I'm playing all the snares and so on. But now, when we go to our mixer page with Command 2, you can see besides it be clipping, and if I wanted to, this is uh, my drums from battery. And if I press plus, I will start to see the different outputs 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm just going to set up a small, I'll just bring up battery here for a second. I'm going to separate my screen so that you can see this happening. So when I press the kick, it's coming out several different outputs. So in essence, this really isn't drums battery. This is now my bass drum. And then this next one is my snares. And the next one is my hi-hats. And the next one is toms, the cymbals. And the next one, we were saying, is the overheads. And then this one, I think, is the rooms. So. I should be getting overheads and rooms coming out of my kick when I do the kick. Ah, do, do, do. So the nice part is, is if I solo one of these and I just want to hear what the overheads sound like for the kick. There you go, that's what it sounds like. If I just want to hear the rooms, here is just the rooms for the kick. And then just the direct sound itself from the bass drum. And then this mixing arrangement allows me to mix exactly as I would a multi-track session. So it separates my MIDI events to be kick, snare, hi-hats, toms. I could have done cymbals on a separate one if I wanted to, overheads and room mics. I can EQ, um, compress, do sends for like reverb on the snare. Totally independent of the other elements, yet it's all still being triggered from the same instrument. So let's give you a small example of that as I zoom in here a little bit. I'm just going to create a region and then let's do a quick drum pattern. Turn the cycle on and then let's kick. Oh, and let's just do a little bit different velocity here. This is our standard rock. Okay. Kind of boring, right? But we'll show you what you can do with the mix once we get these elements in. I might as well do some sort of tom thing here. 
Oh, where's the... Oh, there's going to be a Tom Lowe somewhere. There we are. There we are. Let's move on. It's not perfect, but uh, you get the idea, and I could uh, funk it up a little bit. And of course, I'm not going to do that. We'll open up that every once in a while. Okay, you get the idea. Anyways, uh, if I go back to my mixer, watch what happens when I press play on the side button. Just the snare, right? So I got a little bit of issues going on with my bass drum. I haven't properly put out all the instruments to it. And then let's hear the hi hats. So the hi hats, if I wanted to, let's just uh, do a shell or high shell. Make them speak a little bit more. Not that I do this in an actual mix. What about the cymbals? I could take my room sound and compress the crap out of it if I wanted to. It's going to go into compression and then adjust the attack and release and so on of that. So that gives you an example of what you can do with multi-track drums out of a single instrument.